Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone. As the regular season is officially complete, and now we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next after this. Hey everyone, me and Semiphone are here, and right on the sideline we have is the newer part of the uh, commentators that will be happening here on this game. This is what we call it for the next one. Meet Test 2. Test 2, this is your day to see what the games we have. What is it then? It's the NBA Playoff game. Oh, I see. Well, <laughs> Uh, if you might, if you don't mind if I if I join with you guys, uh, is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Just join on in. Welcome to the game here, the test two. It's turning out to be just great how well you have performed. What do you think of this game will be? I think that might be just more options. What a best way to see how this turned out to be the best highlight. i like to see how well you did for the editing the parts. Well, I might be doing a lot hard, but... Yeah, well, you, you might guess it anyway, but it could be hard to try to figure it out. The next matchup we are about to do is Pelicans and the Suns. Interesting to me, I always know that there is no update reports here for Zion Williamson as he's still out of the game, but he might be missing his game from, from the other teams that we may not be able to see them play at the same time. It's going to be very disappointment of how this, uh, this game turned out. I don't know how well they play. Well, we're going to have to wait and see if they can try to find it back with the Suns win or not. We well, are the starting lineups. We have CJ McCollum, Brandon Ingram, Herbert Jones, Jackson Hayes, and Jonas Valanciunas. Test tube, your take on the Suns. Chris Paul, Devin Booker, McCall Bridges. Am I, am I right? Yes, you're right. Jay Crowder and DeAndre Aiden. The only tall man that we always have. Yeah, not quite literally, but I won't have to actually say that one anyway. Like, it's just too much. Well, let's get in the game here at Footprint Center. Here for the first game of the season. So happy to see the Phoenix of Arizona at the Footprint Center. What do you have here for your take? My take could be the Phoenix Suns because of, of how well they played, and they always made it to the finals at that point. It's a lot of more dedications out there, but I think there might be more. Here's Ali. Well, the veteran savvy of Chris Paul has helped transform the Suns into a contender. Teammate Devin Booker says, on the floor, he knows what's going on before it even happens. With him, the game is never out of reach. Guys? Thanks so much, Ali. That's a lot hard, but this might be a lot of work. Thank you. Here are the lineups here for the Pelicans and Suns. The key matchup is Brandon Ingram and Devin Booker. Those guys definitely really think they have it all the courage here, but there's a lot of chance that we might be seeing the players come back into another game. And if there's a chance here that the players willing to keep it going, they are still wanting to extend their more schedule to be ready here for the postseason. Willie Green is the head coach here for the for the Pelicans. You might see how well he can play. It tries to make him a lot much better. Tip-off is up, and the Suns wins the game of the tip-off as we start things here in game one. All fueled and ready to go. Crowder, right to Paul. Paul has played for this last season that he has played before with the NBA Finals against the Bucks. And with the other Jants out there, what is your uh, take for Chris Paul of how well is he going to succeed more? I think succeeding at more is a much more complication out there. When when this team has really have gone on, I think there might be another chance here to keep it going on the red. Jones slams a dunk and it goes up with a tie. I agree, because most of the time that Chris Paul is definitely on a best play. PG3, I mean, PG13 like Paul George, having seen Chris Paul playing here from his matchup, and he wasn't able to see his game. But I know their team is out. I think they're going to be watching their game here on the TV device. And right now, the layup drive is for Chris Paul. He's got a first bucket. 
Right now, McCollum, he goes right to Ingram. Ingram with the shot. And that's good. That's another two-pointer for Ingram as they will tie the game up. Here's Paul. He passes over to Booker. Booker rolls over to Bridges. Bridges right to Carter. He goes in, drives across, and he makes a shot. Jay Crowder with the first bucket for this one. And as you can see, the last game in status was the only tough thing that didn't work him out was the, was the shooting range. Their team can definitely try to handle it better, but it looks like it didn't really help it out. McCollum drives it in there, and this ties up the game once more. Yeah, you, you gotta like keep your eyes here on CJ McCollum because his time won't tell. Without the Portland Trail Blazers, I think their team is definitely in trouble. But I think the Pelicans are on a great, terrific season, and they're bringing them back in here after the playing tournaments, beating the upset opponents against the LA teams. Here's Hayes, covered by Crowder. He goes right to Ingram with a spin move. Ingram right on Booker, goes in the paint, it's deflected by Aiden, first block of the game. Aiden really got it a lot better. That's a great defense, what a nice help. Booker right in here, and he lost the ball as Jones will take the other way. He goes right to McCollum, screen rejected. McCollum inside, and he gets a layup score. That's McCollum's second bucket of the game. He really knows that CJ McCollum has gotten a lot much better out there. Isn't it, Test 2? I think so. Whoa! Man, DeAndre Ayton got slammed up the heat. He did! DeAndre Ayton was going to say, if there's a player that wants to get right around me, I will tell you, I am not going to end it here. Bridges against Jones. Ingram against Booker. Tries again. Nice D for Devin Booker as he will have his own rebound. What a help here on defense, but that's uh, that's going to be a lot of uh, lot of terrific opportunity here. If they wanted to give another shot, they got to go for it. Three pointer for Paul. Good outside of the range. As he has a, as their team extends the lead up by five. Only two ten to go. McCollum right. On Aiden, he finds Jones. Bridge still looking for a chance to turn the deflections with the pass. Valachunas went short. Not a best, not a best picker here. Crowder adding to up, and he makes another shot. Another bucket for Aiden, and that will be Suns extending the lead by seven. They've got a lot much better. I know that was very tough, but uh, they done a really good job. Aiden against Valentunas. He goes in there. The shot. And a great, great contact D here for Aiden and Paul. They're trying to work their team together. Said, I got you, Paul. That's a great communication out there. What a play. Bridges in the paint. Scoops up the layup and they got another one. The first timeout is called out by Nola. But from a minute and 14 to play in the first quarter. What a terrific start here for, for the Phoenix Suns here for the first game. I know, this is like the one of the best plays in this series. We haven't catch up on anybody. But I think uh, there might be one, one of each player that might be not at all. And I think uh, it's a lot much better than I, I have, but the moment of what you really have is, is a lot much better and playing the last couple seasons without making it to the postseason. And that is very hard to try to make the board come to a hard effort out there. But if you have a lot much better with the, with the pass and other stuff, I think that might be a much better to go right from here. It's just a great uh, amount of uh, players that they play. And with the average, they may have it all. Here are some new changes here for the Suns and the Clipper clipping of the Clinch C Pelicans. They will be keeping on the new players and looking at the league leaders, three point percentage, second place, just one point behind, 
it, they didn't have it enough to bring it up over here. You know, I, I, I would expect this would, it would be very tough to find them out, but now this is getting to be heavy on the down. And a shot counts. That will be a first two-pointer for Grant. And the first foul is given up for Phoenix Suns with the first team foul. That will be on Torian Craig. Graham has gotten the best better at that. He really knows, but that's uh, but that's what they totally said. They've gotten a lot of uh, players to get back in the bound. Graham makes the free throw for one shot, and they're now trailing by six. Here's Payne, after playing with the last season against the against the uh, the other opponent team in the NBA Finals, they've already have come in here to do it the best they can. They've really gotten a great great look out there. I think they're going to bring up more players if they have one. And oh man, the foul is turning the other way. That's Hernan Gomez, his first foul, first team, first team foul on NOLA. JaVale McGee will head to the free throw line with only 44.3 seconds. JaVale McGee really has gotten a lot of work. I think uh, he wasn't able to play here with the Denver Nuggets, but I think now it's his time to shine in for the Suns. We can definitely do it better. McGee didn't able to hit the first free throw at, at that point, so he will have to try again for the second shot. The second free throw is good, and McGee has won. Pelicans trailing by seven. He goes right to Hernan Gomez. Hernan Gomez in the paint goes with a dunk and he drives in front and they come down by five. Hernan Gomez really didn't see that one coming, but I think that's a lot harder than he had bring bringing out if he wanted to go from here. Schmidt finishing the drive and the foul is called on Graham and that counts it in. Schmidt will be able to hit one free throw at the free throw line. Man, Shaman has gotten a lot of best plays out there. Not able to play with Brooklyn, but now he definitely wanted to play here with Arizona on the Phoenix Suns. Shaman, working on his way, he might be putting up another one. I agree. Now he will pass off to Murphy, back to Alvarado. Alvarado against Payne. He finds Hernan Gomez. Just 15 shots to 15 seconds to go. Five to shoot and the board. Graham shot. That's no good. That will be Payne's first rebound of the game. Sherman. Payne to Johnson. Buzzbeater is off. That ends the first quarter with 21 to 13. They are on their way here, leading by 11. We'll be right back after this one when we come back. Business, work, relationships, whatever, it's communication. And I think that's something that we're doing an amazing job of right now. That's communicating, talking through things, and making sure, even when it gets tough, that we continue to communicate. The second quarter is about to start as Chris Paul was making his official interview. He's making the keys to have it a lot more better than he had before in the last postseason, making it all the way to the finals. But that may be very hard enough to go right from here. And guys, Chris Paul with about a looker of the game. We might see how this turned out. What does it take here for, for the Suns to be out in the rising action? Well, my rising action may be very tough at all, and that might be the only one that we can bring things back in the game. Sometimes it may be really, uh, really hard to try to pick up the run, and sometimes it may be tough for them to give it a run. I absolutely agree here with uh, Mifo, but that's, uh, that's a little bit more, uh, more change up here if you wanted to give that one a run. And what a jam here. The dunk is on JaVale McGee. Oh, man. I know that is true. 
But it looks like McKee is not going to uh, not going to lose him out of this time. And like I just said here before, it, it may be may be tough for the Suns if it if it increases more. But we will have to see what we can do if we can try to fix things out a bit on their run. Right now, here's Shamit. He will be taking the ball as the dunk goes on to McGee. He will pass back to Shamit. Craig in pursuit. He scores and another bucket for the Suns. Craig gets the first one. Tony and Craig really has done a lot of him so far. We want to see how he can do. First foul called on JaVale McGee. That will be their first team foul for the Suns. Stopping the clock at 4.52 remaining. And for Devontae Graham, his most taking is a lot of for a lot of action. He is coming in there fast. He might be he might be he's up on that on that play. It's, it's a lot of work. Agreed. There's most plays that that Devante Graham can't be doing here once he played with his other uh, players that he has done. Because the head coach was telling him to keep up, uh, keep up the run, they really cannot be uh, letting the other players get down into the breaking of the defense. If this run goes in the out of the lane, that might be very tough for them to keep an eye on, and that might be a very tough run for him to slide down. Now Temple will be taking in for Alvarado as he will be stepped out of the court. The second free throw is good for Devontae Graham, and they are down by 10. Shamit, looking around a bit, he goes right over to Craig. Back to Payne. Payne, back to Craig. Fades, goes right to McGee. He goes up, he makes the drive, and no foul is called on the Pelicans. McGee's got five, and they are still going up again. Leading by 12. Temple against Payne. He goes right to Graham. Back to Temple. Right to Hernan Gomez. Back to Temple. Just five on the shot clock. And Graham can't answer the three-pointer as it missed off wide. Payne with the pursuit. He makes it. Payne has got two buckets for this one with the first game of the night. Payne's doing really good. Heavy D, a lot of traffic out there, and it's Johnson passing over to Payne, and he will turn around the other way. Johnson, right to McGee. Right over to Shamit. Shamit in the attack, going up. Doesn't hit the courage of the two-pointer as Shannon misses again. Here's Temple driving in, and that will be a layup. Timeout called by the Suns. That will be, that will be a, a first timeout call in the second quarter. Yeah, a lot of coaches are definitely uh, talking it over. They really wanted to fix things up a bit, but they can't be losing their teams to go right in the other way. And with our new changes, we will have another look here on the uh, offending side. We might be seeing which play can definitely go in there. We might be seeing some uh, some better players that can definitely try to work their run. I think there might be a lot of huge major changes if we want to see them win or not. We might see how this one goes. And here are the new changes here. As McCall Bridges is checked back in, of course, along with uh, Devin Booker and Chris Paul. All the players are checked out, and except for Temple, he will stay on the court. Bridges right to Aiden. Aiden, oh boy, oh! <laughs> Aiden really has slammed it all. Says no, no man surrender the attackers. He really has dominated his show. Look out his performance. Two-pointer can't make it good for Brandon Ingram. Bridges, right to Paul. Now he goes right into Aiden. Aiden, pass to Bridges. Bridges, Paul, bounce pass again. Bridges goes back in, drives up, 
and it's knocked away. Valentunas with the rebound, 2.45 to play. Ingram, he is all alone, nobody on him. Now, yeah, most players that can't, they can't be leaving their mans. That's a defensive breakdown. Paul back to Booker. Now he swipes it over, knocked loose, almost tipped it over. Crowder back to Booker. With around the wrap, Booker can't find a man to go on offense to hit the rebound. Ingram up. Another rebound by Crowder, and he couldn't find him either. Two minutes of the first half. Booker. Whoa! Wow! The two-pointer is swept in the bit. Booker extending the lead. Six points in the game so far. I think there might be another one that can go big. Temple on Booker. McCollum for three. That goes in there. That one comes back in there. There it goes right in the bottom of it. Down by 10. Crowder rolls over to Aiden. Booker. Bounce pass. Paul. Brooks around. And it's knocked away. That's Valentunas takes the rebound in the other direction. And it's Jones with the dunk. And they are pulling up by 8. They really got to slow things down a bit. I don't even think there might not be any player that we can go for. Aiden, right on Malatrunas. He goes right to Crowder. Crowder rolls up. Doesn't hit that one. It's Jones with the rebound. Jones against Bridges. Goes with the tie. Oh, the slam is pulling up on Malatrunas. And they are pulling it in there quick. Now here's Booker. Booker, right to Paul. Crowder outside. Booker, right to Crowder. Three-pointer up. It's good! That's a number three-pointer for the Suns, and they are extending the lead by 10. Jay Crowder left it all alone. He really didn't care who was not going to be on offense to go for up and left. He really had it all. McCollum, oh man, he's got neck and neck out there, and he breaks it up again. Chris Paul couldn't survive this man, man defender, and that may be tough. Under 10 seconds, here's Paul. Booker, wide three, good! Devin Booker, another three pointer for the Suns, and they will close off the first half. It's 39 to 28. Suns are taking the pressure. And we'll be right back after this break. Don't go anywhere. Second half will be up with their way next. Here's Ali the Force. No Ali the Force. Let's head to halftime. Let's see what they say. The first half of the recap. Is Phoenix. They lead by 11. And over to Shaq. What did you think about Phoenix? Well, they show a lot of discipline in their It's not about getting a quick shot, it's about getting a good shot. If you want to know how that approach is working, just check out their field goal position. And Kenny, what do you have to say about the Pelicans? They wouldn't be in such a deep hole if they hadn't given up so many opportunities. Getting out hustling, getting moved around, losing possession. One thing you can control is effort. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. Thank you guys. Enjoy your second half of the game. Welcome back to the third quarter as we're about to be right here at Phoenix at the Footprint Center. Everything's turning out great here so far. Even of course Devin Booker is already on a on a jam right now. A lot of hard work out there. I totally agree. Because of Devin Booker, his way is to reach his next step is to be a legendary if he keeps it up with another great team, and to make another scoring bucket account. We have made it to the second half as we're about to start right now. And all fueled up and ready to go. A great drive here for Hayes that he has brought up, and they are bound to be bonding up to uh, take a trail by nine. Here's Paul, this will be on his way to the Bridges, back to Paul. Paul in the reach, and oh 
man, he is on the on the team. On the team, he just really got a piece of that. What a play here. Paul, he's knocking his way through. It's deflected. Paul with the finish. And he scoops it in there. Thanks to Devin Booker, he has a steal. And as a turnover, it appears to be on Noah. That's a nice communication here on defense. And make him go out there. That, that's what you can do. You finish the drive. Valentine is against Aiden. Steps up through. Deflected by Aiden. Number three and Jay Crowder. Up he goes. Aiden takes the assist. And they are extending the lead by 15. Oh boy. They really dumped on that one. They are on a smooth run. McCollum finds Ingram. Booker on the cover. Screen on Valentunis. Up over Aiden, and the foul is called on Booker. His first, second team foul on Arizona of Phoenix Suns. The Valley is not putting up a great pressure here as they are trying to avoid the mistake. They're avoiding mistakes. This has become a very uh, less less crucial out there, but more crucial. They have to. They have to be out here. They better stop doing what they're doing. Valachunas at the free throw line for shooting two. First free throw is knocked in there. Now the new changes appeared for the Pelicans and the other team of the Suns. Graham and Nance Jr. are checked in. Along with the other players that are checked out, Aiden and Booker, McGee and Payne are checked in there also as well. We haven't seen Larry Nance Jr. play here for the Suns, but it's great to see him uh, return. But that's a lot of work out there. And without any agreements, what do you think, Test 2? What do you think will Larry Nance Jr. take the night rising step? You know what? I, I always agree, because maybe that time has a lot of work for out there. And oh man, he got a block of that. Wow. Here's McGee. Rose is up, and he scores another one. McGee with another two-pointer, and it's seven points. McGee really knows the handle of it. I think, I think Larry Mance Jr. can definitely do a lot much better than playing with the Cavs. Because if he knows, he hasn't been playing back on here. Not even the contract has helped him out. Hayes on Crowder. Try to look her way around. Deep three. And that will not go in there as McGee takes the rebounds. 3.30 left to play here in between the opponents with the rebounds. 13 for the Suns and 5 for the Pelicans. They have a double run. Yeah, they do. I always agree. That's a lot of working scourges that he has button out. A lot of man almost I'm gonna put a, a pick here on Valatunas, but he is but he is not doing it. And a three. Turn around the other way for CJ McCollum. And they are trying to answer back. CJ McCollum is not the only man you don't want to get away with it. Paul, right to McGee. Back to Paul. Fades. The Suns moving the ball quickly around the opponents. He goes up. Crowder missing the two pointer. And another miss carries for the Phoenix Suns. Graham, right on Payne. It is Hayes. Oh, deflected by McGee and says, Give me the ball. Give me that. Wow. What that play turned out, that's a lot of work. And Payne scores the drive, and he is like just putting it back on the run. McCollum, helping the man out, and then trying to deflect it, and McGee has the ball. McGee's doing really well indeed. He's not trying to spare another foul if he gives up. Two minutes, Two minutes to remain here in the third quarter. McGee. Helping the screen is Crowder. Right to Paul for three. That's good. McGee with the assist, and they are extending the lead so far. Chris Paul really has gotten a lot of great average here in the points for our last couple seasons before he was being transferred over to the, to the Suns. What do you guys think of how well he did? A lot of seasons are turning out great. 
But the one thing that you don't want to mess them up is the is the key or key attack on the run. I can always say that it is a lot of work here, not even too much to bring out here, but that may be on a carry for a run. I think he might be doing a lot much better than he did. The next timeout is called by New Orleans Pelicans, and that will be a minute and 22 to go here in the third quarter. They have played a lot of games here since they haven't just met each other in just a quite some couple times here since the returning of the pandemic from 2020. I know it was a little upset, but I guess that we will be able to resume the game without experience interruptions. I agree. We won't have to do this one again, because if we do, then uh, let's, we have no idea what's going to happen next. But that's a lot of words about the breaking news or anything else. Even, of course, I, I always really love the legendary player Kobe Bryant. They all really know Lakers and the Clippers, they decided not to play because of him. He's already got, uh, passed away at that moment. But I think it's all respect to Kobe. New players are changing in on the court as Hernan Gomez will check in for Valanchunas. Another team over there is bound, will be Larry Nance Jr. trying to pick up their way on the run. McGee got the ball. Bridges passes over to Craig. The shot is up, rebounded by McGee, and he will slow it down a bit before changing it in. Payne right to Johnson, five to shoot. Bridges. With the two, no sirree, Payne just really saw it. that shot from McCall Bridges has gotten better. They really like to do things a better, a bit. I think we're going to like to see what his shot can do better. Graham missing a three point range and it's off the mark. For this season it was 45.2 rebounding percentage. You guys take here for the rebounds. I think that was a lot of great working here on a hustling rebound. But I know that this doesn't really want to uh, to lose the ball out of focus at that point. If we really like to see what the players could definitely do, there might be another solution. And just a good look here, McGee, that was uh, number one for Aiden with a mobile one block of the game. They really got a lot of them. I've seen a lot of many plays, and I think that in my average here for the Suns, they might have to do about much better. I think they're going to keep it going. 23 seconds to go, Hernan Gomez to Ingram. Ingram, and it's deflect out. And it's Torian Craig taking the steal, and here's Johnson. Three on one attack. No problem. Torian Craig picked it up as Johnson takes the assist. It's 58-35. In the third quarter, almost done to the end. Murphy for three, two, and it won't be here. That will end the third quarter. Ooh, it hit the rim. I, it would have been saying that coming. It's 58 to 35. One more quarter to go. And if the Suns wins the first game, that will be the first history of the making to start the run. Fourth quarter, next. Now it's time to check out the State Farm Assist of the Game. For me, I would bet this would be happening here. Just a uh, uh, great matters. Improving a more uh, ability that I like to see. Those players are putting a pass out there. Shamit, Jay Crowder, anything. I think they'd like to do it even more. But that's a great pass here. We love to see that. Glad you joined with us here for the fourth quarter as we're all set up for the last quarter in the regulation time. Let's get this finished. Aiden passes off to Booker. Booker for two. That is in there. Booker receiving another two-pointer advantage. And they are leading it up again by, right, by 30. Man, how hilly was that? That was like a tough, tough play. Cameron Payne calls his foul from the ref, and that will be another team foul on the Suns, number three. Now Herbert Jones will head to the free throw line to shoot two. It could have been a great block, but Payne got out of the way. But uh, Aiden was telling him, he says, no, I have the man, I got the advantage, you take the rebound. But it looks like he was going to try to pick up a rebound, but that's a lot of help. 
So 14 fouls goes for the Suns and two fouls team for the Pelicans. The first free throw is hit now for Jones. And now the new changes are being checked in as Shamit will be checking in for the other player. Ingram is out. And then the other team, Cameron Payne, still not able to pick up his run. And there's Aaron Holiday, as you see here on the quarter, with Bayambo. Second free throw is good. They have it on the run. Now, Holiday will try to pick up his run here in the fourth quarter. He finds Booker. He finds Bayambo. Back to Ian in the drive, and no look here. He has got another two pointer for Bayambo with the assist and two pointer for DeAndre Ayton. Here's Temple. Temple or to Hernan Gomez. Hernan Gomez finds out Alvarado. Alvarado, Temple for three. And it's no good. Another miss here for the Nola Pelicans. Shamit shifts the gear to Bayambo. Back to Ayton. Finds Holiday. Holiday reaches in. Now he gets the first bucket here. Aaron Holiday. He really got him a good look. I think he might be doing it again. Right now, here's Murphy. Murphy on Holiday. He rolls out of the way. Alvarado for three. That's in there. And as another timeout goes by the Suns, it's 64 40. Really, the players definitely had it all. Alvarado, I have never seen this guy so long. And, and, and because of what he has done, hmm, I don't remember this one. It's very hard. I don't really see any other uh, players that turned out to be just like him. Not even Colin Sexton or, or Darius Garland. It's really that hard. It, it may not be that tough, or, nor neither could be Jared Allen. I don't know what to say, but it, it's really very tough. But not sure what they're going to say. Well, Aaron Holiday, he really has gotten a lot much better here in this game. I think Devin Booker had gotten a lot of point advantage here with the dynamic trios in between Paul and Ian. But it looks like Jay Crowder might be picking up the pace out there. I think he could join in here if we bring the quads to bring in there as well. It might be true. We, we could do that at the same time if the Suns have dominated their, their season. And they might be another one. New changes here for the Phoenix Suns. McCall Bridges is back on the court with Paul. Four players are checked out as four players checked in for Hayes, Alexandrinus, Ingram, and McCollum. And same thing going with the Suns. Here's Bridges. Really dominate their run. Crowder in with another loose ankle. Oh, Crowder. Whoa. Man. I don't know what to say about him, but Crowder, he really got into it. They've got a lot of them. A lot of, uh, a lot of points. Uh, it might be timing is right, I think. He, he's timing is right, I pull over his self. That's all I have. Shot clock to six. Ingram going with the attack. Can he do it? No, he cannot. It's Crowder with the rebound as this turns around the other way for the Phoenix Suns. Look out below, and that counts a bucket for Aiton. Valentunas picks up a foul. And what a slam here. This looks like it's a lot of work going on. Man, oh man. Snell and Marshall are checked in, and DeAndre Hayden is at the line, shooting one. What a domination performance. He makes one in there, and it has 11 points in this game. I like that. Those dunks and one can also count as well. I never see that. And another great pass here for Pelicans as Hayes has advanced forward. Here's Paul. Rails over to Booker. Here's Paul. Right to Bridges. Finds uh, Crowder. And Crowder can't able to answer the pick. McCollum, back the other way. 
Three pointer Ingram missed again, and it's fouled by Bridges. Their first, third, fourth, fifth team foul on the Suns. They've really got too much to play here on the defense, and now they're adding another team foul, and that's going to be the worst time to play here on offense and defense. It's too much to go from here. They really got to slow it down. His first free throw, shots is in. And stick around later as we will have the next one here for the Stanley Cup playoffs. If you are joining in here on NHL 22, the next matchup will be happening here for the Hurricanes and the other team of Boston Bruins. Make sure you catch it here on live from, for the next one starting on Monday. That will be the first one for the Eastern Conference to bring things in there. It's only on Senate Beast. Make sure you watch it. If you don't, somebody will. Crowder right to Aiden. Aiden up and foul. And it goes off the rim. And that will be that will be Jackson Hayes with another foul. And that will be third to fourth team foul for the Pelicans. Now it's DeAndre Ayton doing it again two for two shots. Yeah, yeah. DeAndre Ayton, he's like a great price. How amazing this is. I've seen like a lot of a great momentum out there. Ayton hits the first free throw. New changes are given out here for the Suns as uh, a couple players are taking their breaths at the bench. Craig and Peyton are checked in. Paul moves over to shooting guard. The next game that will be happening here, two verse seven, and that will be in between the team. And Aiden will have to try again for Bridges. Oh wow, what a steal. The two pointer up. It's in! It's a three pointer for Paul! Wow, they are smoking high enough already. They've really got a lot of it work done. And another shot goes for CJ McCollum as they are trying to step their way back. Paul, right to Peyton. Paul back over is taken away by Snell. Snell with the first steal. On, San, on New Orleans, and a three catches in for C.J. McCollum. They are still working their way around. Now it's two minutes for the final quarter in the regulation. Paul right to Craig. Craig holds up, but Bose backs up to Bridges. Back again, Craig with a shot. That's good. Tori and Craig receiving another two points here. That's his third bucket. There are a lot. There are a lot of after, after, There are a lot of uh, outstanding, uh, amazing players that turned out to be just like him. Don't know who which one they are, CJ. but they really had all. CJ McCollum with another three, and here's a pass to Paul, and McCollum is on the attack. Peyton rolling around back to Peyton. Peyton shoots, and it goes in. Peyton picking up another two, and he's got a first bucket. Peyton just got a lot better. I think the I think the moment that we need him is to, is to get back in there if the other, another player is injured. Another rebound by Peyton, and this will be right over to Bridges. And right back to Peyton. Goes right to Craig. Right back to Peyton. Back to Bridges. Shot clock to six. And a shot went very late. Here's McCollum. McCollum on Paul. Finds Snell. Bridges on Snell. Attempting to steal is not helping him run. Five to shoot. Snell in out of control and he lost that bound. Here's Bridges. Pass to Paul. Shot clock is winding down. Game clock is winding down. 
Binds Egan. Bridges back over to Peyton. And it will have to hold the ball. And will not do it from here as this one goes to the shot clock violation. So only two seconds, last possession for the Pelicans. One more change here for the Pelicans and Suns. Wow, what an incredible game out there. They've done a lot of great job in the hustling. And that's it for the game. Your final score, it's 77-52. Suns wins the first game of 2K22. And that's going to do it. They are in, up in the lead series, 1-0. And we will see them back in game two to have another rematch of the game. Well, what a domination performance here at Test 2. <laughs> Thank you for joining with us. And why don't you start here for number three player? Okay, I I guess I can do that. Thank you. Uh, my mic's truly any time. Here's you at number three from Test Tube as he will do it from here. Okay, so I know there's no... Jordan, no, no New Balance player to game, but uh, there's a one thing that we have to go for. Number three, we told you about that one. It's not really him, but it was DeAndre Ayton that turned out to be 12 points, five rebounds, five assists, and just the two blocks, which is like incredible seeing like you're in the deflective zone. That's like a lot of work to be done. Here's number two for me, phone. Yeah, all right. Number two, I my choice. There's a lot of players that can definitely handle the ball. But what I go for, I go for CP3. That's for Chris Paul, 15 points. And with the steal, two rebounds and six assists. Not really well out there, but looks like uh, he's, he's just amazing. How well he has played and definitely done it again. And for your take, number one, son of beasts, who do you have? Another shocking one, another disappointment with all the effort here, and that goes to a New Balance player of the game, CJ McCollum. He only had made 20 points in a row, just a dunk, and only made three assists, and just a rebound. I don't know what to say about him, but, um, you know, it's a lot of work that needs to be done. But CJ McCollum will have to return here for the next game to rematch it once more. So, thank you Test 2 for joining with us. You may, head, you may head back to the Immunity Island. We'll see you around uh, in just a couple days or so. And you too always. All right, take care of there, Mifa. I'll see you all again very soon by, by the uh, island where I met you last time. Of course it is. And Mifa is out of here. Thank you so much for watching. And this has been a presentation of the NBA 2K22 along with NBA Playoffs edition of the game. We'd like to thank you for watching for this game, and peace out everyone for as a while as the NBA Playoff 22 dial and the NBA 2K22 dial. And joining the next game will be happening here. We move on to 2 versus the 7 seed of the game. It is the Bucks facing up against the other team that are moving on the transition, the Cavaliers. And the other team that will bring in here, it will be the Timberwolves against the Grizzlies. Join with us the next game, Tuesday and Wednesday on Son of Beast. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Good night in the Valley of Phoenix, Arizona. Didn't you know? Somebody.